Hi guys, Virgo here. Okay, we're going to be looking at this together for the first time. I was just able to locate the uh, Court of Common Pleas of Chester County, uh, the Janae Rebecca Smith docket. Uh, this is the same party that I just put up the breaking news on with regards to the officer that was drugged by a vehicle from uh, a party that subscribes to the Moorish American Consulate group. Uh, for those of you who have not seen that, I will place the link in the description to that video so that you can actually see um, the article that just came out a couple of hours ago with regards to the situation. Um, here we go. So uh, this particular party, it looks like, um, has, was arrested back in 2018, as the article stated. However, she just uh, started standing trial yesterday, the 27th of January, 2020. I want you guys to take a look at uh, these charges. They're unbelievable. But before we do, um, you know, I this is this is Chester County Court, uh, Commonwealth Court of Pennsylvania, which is another county out of uh, where Sharon Tracy Gale is standing trial in. Um, Delaware County, okay? So we're looking at the same state, just just miles away from one another in a different county. And I want you to look at the bail that was set for this person who drug a police officer with their vehicle. And when you see the charges, the main two charges, you will understand just how serious it was to have bail set for Sharon at $100,000. So the set bail originally for uh, Janae Rebecca Smith was $100,000. But then it was decreased when it was requested by her original attorney to $35,000. But yet they would not decrease Sharon's to under $50,000. And it's actually still sitting at $100,000 today. Does that give you some kind of um, does that give you some kind of, of a way to kind of see how serious they view what Sharon has done? Because let's look at the main charges here. So there's all these charges, okay? There's there's all of these that have to do with failing to stop, reckless driving, recklessly endangering another person, all these two, all these things. But let's look at charges number 19 and charges number and charge number 20. Charge number 19 is criminal attempt murder of the first degree. And secondly, charge number 20 is criminal attempt murder of a law enforcement officer of the first degree. So one of the main things that I want to point out here is once again, the fact that the original bail that was set with all these 20 charges being on here was for $100,000, which is where Sharon Tracy Gale's actual bail is set currently. That's the seriousness that we're looking at. So if you want to put it in perspective, I think you need to probably look at the fact that these uh, courts tend to be rather, uh, I, I would say, lenient with regards to reducing bail. But yet they weren't very lenient uh, with regards to Sharon's case. All right, moving forward, we have um, what's been held over to, lower, to low, uh, lower court, which is what's being tried. All 20 of these charges, which actually stuck, um, there's a total of, let's see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six felonies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, it looks like seven misdemeanors. And then there's two H1s um, that are down here. And it looks like those were actually currently dis are currently dismissed so they're not trying her for the murder charges um but those charges again those charges were on her docket when she went to go to arraignment where they actually hand out a sentence so the seriousness of this 
and the seriousness of Sharon's should be put in perspective in this manner. All right, um, so the all the things that were held to lower court for her to actually be tried for were um, number one through number 18, which include aggravated assault, uh, careless driving, reckless driving, failure to um, not stop for police or not do as requested or ordered by police, and um, accident injury or death occurred due to that failure to uh, stop and give info or render aid she just took off there was no I mean he he actually rolled off of the vehicle she didn't stop to try to uh, assist with not harming him which is you know I'm sure what brought on the original uh, charges to begin with was the fact that she did not attempt to render any kind of aid whatsoever these also um, looks like, I don't know what S actually means here. I will have to look that up for you. Maybe one of you lawyers or judges that are on this channel can tell me what S actually means um, because I'm, I'm not absolutely sure on that. But um, there is, of course, we are looking at, she is currently still incarcerated. Um, she is currently still dealing with the trial. Uh, I believe there's another day or two of the trial, it looks like, that, according to what I've been able to look up. Uh, bail has been set currently with reduction at 35,000, uh, 10 percent of 35,000. Nobody has come to her aid with regards to that, which of course does not surprise me because we never see the consulates come to aid. Um, Ta Taj Tariq Bay, of course, was actually, um, you know, put into the article. Uh, clearly, there's been uh, some statement made with regards to that party uh, from the defendant because of the fact that he was put into the uh, original article that I, I read and, again, will be located in the description of this video for you to take a look at. Um, you know, just based on the proclamation that was made and forwarded to the original arraignment judge, uh, it's obvious to me that this is a member of the Moorish American Consulate or something that's very, very similar. Lord only knows Taj has had a ton of um, groups that have come out of his nonsense. So, um Let's see, what else can we take a look at here? Uh, we're not going to have any idea. Uh, all these people, by the way, that you're looking at right now that are going by are all people that uh, apparently were served uh, by e-service or hand-served um, for one reason or another, I guess, to give statements with regards to this. Some of them, it looks like it's officers, yes, uh, and other uh, attorneys. So anyhow, uh, I will be linking this in the description area of the video so you guys can actually look at this for a long period of time if you want to to figure out what all these things have to do with. But it's, it looks like we're going to be looking at the p uh, potential of sentencing uh, out a little ways again. There isn't actually that. Well, let me go up here and look. It didn't look like there was anything that was in the uh, calendar events. Let's see. Yeah, we're still... Yeah, we're still in criminal trial uh, area. So with that trial actually occurring, um, you know, until that trial's done and a verdict is, is reached, we won't actually know when we're looking at sentencing. I doubt very seriously with the fact that she's going pro se uh, and isn't really allowing much interjection with regards to any other armchair assistance, for example, uh, or elbow assistance or whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, I doubt very seriously that we're going to get uh, any kind of uh, exonera exoneration on this person. She's going to be found guilty. Uh, whether she gets 90 years to life is, you know, anybody's guess, but we'll find that out and keep track of this. Um, if anybody has anything to add with regards to this, please feel free to email me at virgotriad at protonmail.com. I want to make a statement with regards to why it is that the Virgo Triad channel follows these types of things. Um, you know, to be quite frank, I'm, I'm getting a little irritated with the whole, oh, she's you know, she is against um, people of our color or whatever. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, 
<laughs> a good portion of my relatives are uh, not white or not, you know, uh, however you want to put it. Uh, that's an absolutely hideous thing to say, which I realize is the reason why it's being said, but I'm going to make it absolutely 100% perfectly clear why it is that I'm following uh, the Moors, why it is that I'm posting these things and follow-ups for you guys. Number one, what you're doing is highly illegal. Uh, number two, it is dangerous, and it is something that you are dragging in your own communities in order to get them harmed. If you are attempting to try to um, to deal with a human rights issue, then deal with a human rights issue in the manner that is legal to do, because what you're doing right now is largely nonsense, lies, and you're pulling people in uh, to a situation that is forcing them to put themselves in jeopardy. You're con artists. Uh, those of you that are selling packages and making claims like the Mac is making, absolutely hideous and should be stopped immediately. And if you look on my channel, you will see that there are tons of groups very similar to this in all different shades, sizes, and genders, uh, and colors that I will go up against. Uh, simply because it's wrong, it's illegal, it is harming others. They're scams and they're con artists that are running these things. So um, your claim of calling me, um, you know, racially driven in some manner is 100% inaccurate. And I find it completely offensive. But to be perfectly honest, you know, I, I wouldn't expect anything less out of you guys because um, really that's, that's your only, the only punch you've got is ad hominem attacks because your facts are non-existent. So um, just so that everybody's aware that does not follow this channel regularly, this channel deals with scams, con artists, and things that are out there, uh, even from health standpoints and everything that will harm people, other innocent victims. Um, so, you know, if you think this is a government channel, if you think this has something to do with trying to pull the wool over somebody's eyes and not showing you your rights, and it's actually the exact opposite. I back up all my facts with verifiable sourced information that you can view for yourself. And um, for those of you that have been following the Virgo Triad channel for the many years that we've been up now, Thank you so much for your support and for dealing with all the crazy comments that I have to post on my channel. And thank you for all of the support when I get these terrible threats uh, that you guys have to hear about constantly or see. Um, anyhow, that's my statement. I will have one cray cray comment that came in overnight that will be posted later on for you guys to take a look at if you're interested. But here is the docket. Again, will be in the description of this video for you guys to take a look at. This is a very serious case, um, one of the most serious I think I've ever actually looked at, and I want to make sure that everybody has uh, updated information with regards to this. So we're going to be following this one similarly to the way we're following the Sharon Tracy Gale and to Corey Pitts dockets. All right, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.